you so much for stopping by MBA today. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Everyone's, so happy to be here. I mean, Everyone is so excited that you're in the studio right now. And I know you're busy, so I appreciate you making the time. Just tell us what you're up to lately. Malika, I'm so excited to be here. First off, thank you and thank congratulations you. to you, girl power. Uh, but for me, I also am using my girl powers. I have launched uh, a, the first national all black owned wow. real estate um, brokerage. It's called Aston Rose, and I've partnered with some amazing co-founders, Tommy Rose, Rod Watson, and Rob Hyde, and we are both just so excited to be able to do this nationally. Uh, I've been a realtor, which most people don't know, for the last six years licensed, and I've been an investor ever since my first paycheck from the WNBA. Wow. And so to have this opportunity to be in luxury, to be able to communicate with other celebrities and entertainers and help them to invest their money, and to be able to regenerate those dollars in our community, I'm really excited to have this opportunity. Uh, and awesome. can't wait to take over the world. That's amazing. <laughs> we're we're going to have to talk off mic after the show. For sure. You know, I got we'll, you. We'll, 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 we're here but you were also let's let's talk a little bit of hoops right yeah. you, you were also part of the WNBA's inaugural season it was 25 years ago it's hard to believe what's the biggest change that you've seen in the league since then oh I think the support just mm. obviously the two things I would say probably talent first the talent has been amazing uh, obviously we were talented when we played and when it started but we had teams that were you had two and three all-stars and then maybe we had a lot more role players a person who was just a shooter a person who was just a defender today's game completely changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, these the skills of all of these players, whether it's the ball handling, whether it's the shooting, whether it's the distance. I mean, people are in their range when they cross half court. <laughs> so let's just be yeah. honest that the game and the product that's out there on the court is so amazing, but this sponsorship as well as the support from people. And here's where I say social media has been an amazing help, right? Because it's helped to grow the game. The pandemic did not hurt mm. because it allowed people who were sitting at home and tuning in that had never tuned in before to really follow in love with the WNBA. So yeah. we are so happy with the state of the game. We're very happy with the product that's being put out there. And we're even more happier with all of these corporate sponsors who are putting their dollars behind women. And the fans who are showing up to watch these women play incredible basketball. And it's at the WNBA level, certainly, but we also are seeing it at the college level, too. Yes. And you're close with Dawn Staley, right? And she just entered some very rare ter territory, clinching her second NCAA title. And she was also the swaggiest coach on the side. Ever. My goodness. <laughs> can, she, can she build the next college dynasty here? Absolutely. When you look at what Dawn Staley has come from, my, my roommate, ever since I was 16 years old, she's always been an amazing leader, a floor general as a player. And then obviously on the USA Olympic team, we've shared gold medals. But to see her on this stage leading these young women, the passion that she has about it, the spiritual aspect that she's always bringing to them, the positive level as a female, as a black female, as a coach, being paid and honored with the amount of money that she deserves to have. She's built uh, a dynasty. I think mm. it will continue. A lot of players will continue to go to South Carolina because you want to be coached by her. And the fact that she just took down, I mean, to be Gina or Emma in the 11 and 0, that was huge on that stage. So I personally am so proud of Dawn Staley, but what she's building there in South Carolina, Nothing short of amazing. And those roommate days, they were they were good. Oh, good it roommate? was good. Well, she's are a little the, picky now. Oh, I was gonna know. say, I was, who's the messy one? Because there's always one. Well, both of us are very neat, but she's like, she always tells my husband she made me a better wife because she's like, there's <laughs> water right here and there's a piece of hair. Like, come back in the bathroom, clean it up. I'm like, Dawn, calm down. But she's just so amazing, a great person off the court. So I'm so happy for her. Congratulations, Dawn. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was that roommate. I was the one that's like, um, excuse me, there is one piece of yeah. hair and you're gonna come. <laughs> You gotta come in here and clean it up. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.